As I have promised in this video, I would like to bring uh, some some models or some tools for analyzing the service quality. So models or tools uh, of of service quality, of service quality. Because as as every entrepreneur, uh, they would like to know uh, what is the quality of the service they are delivering, and they will need some tools or some models to measure it. So the first uh, model I would like to bring is the gap analysis model, and you have probably heard this gap analysis model. Gap analysis model. As as you have seen in the last video, I have shown you uh, the picture where where our service our service can be the the quality of the service or the service itself can be some sort of a cake or uh, some some shape and then the customer customer has got some expectations he has got some ex expectations and these expectations are usually larger or for the simplicity of this model we always say that the customer has got higher expectations than the service quality actually is so so there uh, there appears uh, this gap uh, this gap and uh, the the purpose of the gap analysis model as you can already see from the name so we are going to analyze this gap and the reason why we are analyzing this gap is that we would like to close this gap so we would like to close this gap so what what quite quite intuitively stems from the model that we would like to move either our uh, quality of the service up so we can meet the expectation of the customer or we can on the other hand say and some scholars I would say would argue with me but in some some cases we uh, maybe would like to um, show the truth about our uh, our business so that our web page uh, is saying that uh, our fruits or our vegetables are the best at the market and they actually are not so the the quality is lower and then we we uh, let's say uh, decrease the quality of the web page and maybe we can stop lying there and the perceptions or the expectation of the customer come lower and and what happens then well when we have got customer with which this gap will be amazingly big and he gets then a lot dissatisfied with our service he will leave our business and he will never trade with us again but if we attract the customer will if we if we decrease the expectations or if we decrease our image then we will attract different customers then we will attract customers which have got these big expectations and we again meet the expectations with the quality of our service so the main purpose of this gap analysis model is to close this gap between customer expectations and the actual service quality and the next model or the next tool i would like to introduce is called the surf wall the surf wall and as you can already see from the name we can split it into two parts and it is going to tell us or it is going to measure the service quality so so how we should measure the service quality well we should again try to focus on some kind of a gap between uh, the expectations and the perceived performance so we are going to do some qualitative research some qualitative research qualitative research and I will talk about the qualitative or quantitative research in in the next videos or in some other section but what is important about qualitative research that we are asking about the quality of the service we are delivering so let's say we come to the customer or the group of customers and we ask them about several factors or several variables that are within our service so we can ask them for instance about some tangibles so we can ask them about some tangibles which can be let's say the equipment or the physical facilities that we have or the appearance of personnel then then we ask them let's say about the reliability reliability ability 
and why reliability well we have promised some service and uh, we ask them about we are we really able to uh, perform this service uh, as you have expected on some uh, periodical base and so are we really reliable and one more that I would bring is the responsiveness the responsiveness Seamless. and and the responsiveness is very important let's say in the hotel industry whether there is a willingness uh, to help the customers and provide with some prompt service when there is some problem let's say as in hotel industry there is some problem with my room and it is a little bit out of the standards so let's say I would like to have more of a fresh air so uh, they open more windows for me so so it's some sort of uh, uh, extra services that uh, the personnel is able to provide for me so how we will actually perform this uh, service quality measure well we will uh, gather the the group of customers so let's gather customers and then we will ask them twice so we will ask them twice I can maybe draw it so we'll ask them prior I will just change the color we will ask them prior to the service delivery about the quality and then the service is delivered and we ask them afterwards afterwards and then then uh, you receive I will move a little bit up to have a little bit of space so then you will receive some numbers so let's say you are going to receive that uh, your your physical facilities that you have are this good uh, or they expect that they are this good and after they you accommodate them in your hotel they tell you that uh, the the facilities are this high quality so they are actually a little bit lower than they expected and when you get uh, this response from uh, very many customers or the group of customers that you have gathered then you know that there is some problem uh, in in this uh, specific field and you will ask them about many fields so you can bring dozens of fields that you will ask them about and then you will see the different parts of our business and how they are seen by the customer and so so this was the service quality model but it is also uh, quite criticized uh, because of its uh, poor validity and reliability so the theoreticians uh, try to bring uh, new models and probably you will see them in some lit literature and those can be service performance I will split the word directly the service performance surfer and this one is based uh, more on the performance based measurement I will not talk about it in this video I think it is it is enough if you understand the service quality model and then what is what is very important especially in last years you can even see e service quality quality when when those are totally new tools when you are asking about the e service or some online businesses so hopefully this this gap analysis gave you a little bit of sense that we are trying to close the gap between the expectations that the customer have and the actual quality and then that the service quality model is doing quite a similar thing when we are bringing on some qualitative research and we ask about specific variables when we gather a group of customers and ask them twice prior the service occurs and afterwards and then we can see where our problems in our company. So hopefully see you in next video.